Hello YouTube, welcome to Draco Ray Gaming, and do you want your microphone to sound like this? Or like this? It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Do you want your microphone to sound like this? Then as usual, no BS, no fluff, stay tuned. Alright, I guess it's microphone week on my channel, we're discussing the microphones, I recently, I've been through a lot of microphones, first of all, I've been streaming a while. Uh, the Wave 3 Elgato microphone is what I'm using right now. Um, but you can really get any microphone to sound really, really decent. I even had, I think it's right here, let me let me reach off to the side here. Um, a kind of pricey uh, lavalier microphone that I was that I was using, and a, and a splitter, and I've used professional, you know, Shure microphones, and, and I tried a lot of the streaming microphones, headset microphones, you know, um, even like the Void RGB Premium, you know, microphone, headset microphone. It's just, it's it's really, really difficult to find that awesome, warm podcast style microphone without spending a jabillion dollars, you know? Like, um, for instance, let me show you, let me show you some options here. Uh, I discussed this a little bit. So like for 150 bucks, you can get this Wave 3 Elgato microphone, um, but you're looking at 160 for a Shure microphone. You're looking at 500 bucks for a Go XLR mixer. You know, these other Shure microphones are like 400 a piece, you know, that like Joe Rogan and other famous streamers use. You don't need all that. You don't need all that to have your microphone sound amazing. I'm going to tell you right now, if you have a decent microphone, that's all, that's all you need. If you've got 50 bucks, that's enough. If you've got 50 to 150 bucks, that's enough. That's all you need. And um, honestly, you don't need the boom arm and all that. A lot of them come with, with bases for them, etc. You really just need a, a microphone that can pick you up decent for your setup and that you can apply settings to. You don't need to spend all this money. You don't need to spend sorry, where, where, wherever the other one is. All, all this money. This, this microphone, the the, the the audio mixer deck, there's digital solutions like this that you can have with the Wave 3 that I'm using. So let's focus on what you need to do to get your microphone sounding right. One of the easiest, best things I recommend, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, is something called NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, it is basically version 2.0 of RTX Voice. You can get RTX Voice still, and you can still get RTX Voice, you can download it online, you can still get it to work on GTX cards. It uses um, the technology on the card to add an effect, uh, which is called noise removal, and you can adjust the strength on it with this slider, and turn it off and on the fly, and choose which device you'd like it to be applied to. This is the easiest, most awesome way to get rid of background noise. In my opinion, NVIDIA Broadcast and RTX Voice have one of the best noise filtering uh, options available, especially for free if you have an NVIDIA card. Now, what if you don't have an NVIDIA card? What do we do, Draco? I don't know, man. What are you going to do? You're going to listen to the next two tips I have for you. Right now, I'm actually running uh, something called Crisp. So you don't have an NVIDIA card in your system. So something uh, called Crisp would be your next best option and that's what this is right here very similar to nvidia broadcast um you can use it and you can see i'm using it right now you can see the levels above me here and i'm using it for my agato wave 3 uh doing their noise removal option now this is a paid option you can try it free for like two hours or a week or something like that um it sucks that it's paid but it works really well but honestly, if you have an NVIDIA card, I would go NVIDIA Broadcast. Um, as you can see, there's no adjustable slider here to be able to adjust the amount of noise removal. Um, it kind of just is what it is. And uh, this is kind of what my microphone sounds like without it. You'll get some background noise. You'll be able to hear me doing some clapping, things like that. Obviously with it on, you couldn't even hear me clapping there. It's It works pretty, pretty darn well, but it does cost like 60 bucks for a year. So probably something you're not interested in um so i don't have an nvidia card draco i don't have 60 dollars to pay for that what do i do well um you can buy a decent microphone like this wave 3 or etc around 100 dollars, 150 dollars um it has built-in anti-clipping it has a bunch of different tools digital mixer all kinds of stuff on the wave 3 but what you can also do for free is utilize in obs the actual filters on the microphone itself uh so you can see here some of the three filters that I've been messing with with the microphone that you can use noise gate noise suppression and gain 
Um, don't copy these settings entirely because every microphone's different and your Windows volume settings are different. The mixer they're going through are different. But what you can do is actually use these and adjust them till you find the right amount of gate. So you can see when I'm not talking, my microphone is off. And when I'm talking, it turns on. That's called gating. So you want to make sure that a um, that the amount of volume that you're putting in is correct so that it triggers the microphone to turn on, right? So it's not going to let a certain amount of audio through till it hits a decibel. So say your background air conditioning unit, like I have one running right now, is like t whatever, 10 decibels, whatever. And then, you know, but when you talk, it's like 50 decibels, right? So you might want to set something to a th certain threshold number to knock out those 10 decibels of air conditioning unit or hum or static or whatever in the background that you have going on. Now, suppression will actually try to negate different frequencies that aren't your voice uh, in, in essence. And that takes some dialing in too that you can try to, to do. So you can see though, it does use CPU power. Now the benefit to using RTX voice or NVIDIA broadcast is, is using your graphics card ability without hindering your gaming performance to clear up the audio and make it sound good. Um, so I would say that both crisp and uh, OBS are going to use CPU power to, and it's not a lot though, but it is going to use CPU power to clean up your voice. Um, so honestly, the best option is NVIDIA broadcast. But if you don't have an NVIDIA card, next best option for free would be setting these settings here, the gain, the suppression, and, and, and adjusting your gain can even get rid of some background static noise and et cetera in your line. If it's too overdriven, you will get feedback and, and, and buzz and hum. You can actually keep it at a decent level within the window settings as well as within here to, to get rid of that hum and buzz. I would suggest starting there. And once it sounds as clean as it possibly can without a suppression or gate, you wanna add a suppression and a gate and then dial those in to make sure your microphone sounds clean. It stops immediately when you stop talking and there is no background noise or hum or input volume coming through here. You see how clean that is? And that's how I got this microphone sounding like that. So in conclusion, I hope this helps you out. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. I love to talk about this stuff. And if you want to sound as beautiful as this, hopefully you got to the end of this video. And hopefully I see you on the streams Thursday, Saturday. We have a lot of fun uh, games and Warzone, getting wins and stuff. All right, I'll catch you guys next time. I'm Draco Ray, and I'm out of here.